Hello! Today we're going to do practice questions. Okay, so we're still going to do practice questions. They're going to be like the ones that we did yesterday. Okay, so let's put the date. Last day in April is today, April the 30th. Okay, so I have written out a couple of practice questions we're going to do. So the first one, okay, so number one, solve. Do this with me in your notebooks. We're going to be asking to solve 7x plus 12 equals negative 8 plus 3x. Okay? So g, what was given? We were given the equation 7x plus 12 equals negative 8 plus 3x. Okay? U, what's the unknown? Well, the unknown is the x value. What is the x value? Okay, What times 7 added to 12 would also equal negative 8 plus 3 times some number? Okay, So solve means find x equal to, and then that's the question mark, okay? GUE equation. To solve, we use, do you remember what we use? SAMDEV, okay, and opposite operations, okay? Now we know opposite operations means that addition is opposite subtraction. Subtraction is opposite addition. Multiplication is opposite division. And division is opposite multiplication. Okay, G-U-E-S, solution. I'm going to give ourselves a little bit more space because the uh, other days we've been a little bit crowded. Okay, so solution. So I have to take what I've been given, and my unknown, and my equation, and I'm going to use it in this solution space. So I'm going to take what's given, 7x plus 12 equals negative 8 plus 3x, okay? So I want to solve, I need to use SAMDEV. All right. So if I'm being asked to solve, it means that I need to find what x is equal to. So over here, remember we said that we circle the x, which is what we're trying to find, and we decide all the time to leave x on the left side. So leave letter x on left side, okay? On the right, there's no letter X on right side, okay? So because that's going to be our rule, we go through the numbers left to right to see which numbers are following the rule. They can stay where they are. 7X is leaving the letter X on the left side. If we leave 7X on the left side, yes. Okay, so it's to the left of the equals. This number 12. 12 has no x. Okay, our rule is we're going to leave letter x on the left side. Well, 12 has no x, so it's got to go. So this whole 12 has to move. So a is for addition. Okay, so instead of leaving the plus 12, okay, adding 12, instead of leaving it like that, we're going to do the opposite. Okay, what's the opposite of adding? It's subtracting. So subtract 12. Okay, so we need to subtract 12 once on the left side, and we're going to subtract 12 once on the right side. Okay, now 7x is staying. 
So we rewrite 7x. I'm going to move it down here a little bit. Okay. Now, the plus 12 minus 12, if I don't know what that is, I'm going to type it into my calculator. Okay. So I have 12 minus 12, 0. Okay. So that means they cancel each other out. Equals negative 8 minus 12. So that negative means I have to press this, this button here is the plus minus. So my calculator makes me press the number first and then the negative. Okay? So if it's the first negative sign in your list of buttons, you have to press the plus minus. Okay? Then minus or subtract 12 equals negative 20. Okay? So negative 20 goes directly below directly below these two numbers. Okay, so these two numbers when combined, they're negative 20. And then plus 3x. Okay, now our rule continues to be the same. Okay, leave letter x on left side. We're always going to put the letters on the left side. Okay, our rule then opposite that is no letter X on right side. Okay? All right. So 7X has to follow the rule. Leave letter X on the left side. Yes. It's got this, the X there. So I can rewrite that or, well, not move it. Negative 20. Does it follow the rule? No letter X on the right side. It does follow the rule because negative 20 has no x with it. But the 3x, okay, it does not follow this rule. The rule is no letter x on, on the right side. And yet, here it is. It's to the right of the equal sign. So we look at this here. We say, oh, it's adding. So, like before, if they're adding 3x, we're going to do the opposite which is subtracting 3x, okay? So that's what we're doing. I'm going to subtract 3x once on the left side, and we're going to subtract 3x once on the right side. So 7x minus 3x. If I have 7 x-rays and I take 3 x-rays away, I'm left with 4 x-rays or x's, right? So it's just the same as 7 minus 3, right? 7 minus 3. There's 4. Okay. Negative 20 doesn't have an x, so it does not combine to the 3x here or this negative 3x. So the negative 20 gets rewritten. I write the equals directly below the equals that was here. Okay. Negative 20. And then the plus 3x minus 3x, they cancel each other out. Okay. So I have 3 x-rays and I take 3 x-rays away. They cancel each other out completely. I have no x-rays left. Okay, so here we say, oh, okay, so what's our rule? We had leave, leave letter x on left side. So the left here, it's it's got the x on the left side. On this side, our rule was no letter x on the right side. So that rule is the rule every time we get to the right side, okay? So they're in the spots, they're on the sides they need to be, but the problem is that we've got this 4 in front of the x, okay? So that is what we understand is 4 times x, okay? So they're timesing. But we need to know what 1x is. So 4 groups of x is equal to negative 20. We want to know what's 1 group of x. So we say, okay, we'll undo this. So the opposite of multiplying by 4... Okay, notice it's just 4. I'm not talking about the x here. So multiplying by 4, the opposite, opposite is dividing by 4. Okay, so I do divide by 4 once on the left and then divide by 4 once on the right. So 4, 4 divided by 4. Okay, 4 divided by 4. If I don't know, 4. Divided by 4 is 1, okay? So 1x equals, and then this negative, 
has to divide by what we understand to be a positive. So we understand that to be a positive. So negative divided by a positive, if you love to hate, you're a hater. 20 divided by 4 is 5. Okay? If I didn't know that answer, I would do the following. I'd type in my 20. I'd need a plus minus because that was the first sign that I had. The divide would be the, the fraction line. Divide by 4. Okay? I don't need a, a plus there. It's understood to be there. Equals negative 5. That matches my answer. Okay? Now I can also write... I can also write x is equal to negative 5. That works too. Okay. And then my, my s for my sentence, therefore x equals negative 5. Okay. All right. Let's do one more practice question. So question 2 is solve. Okay. A. So these are still practice questions. Uh, what one did I have written out here? I have 3x minus 9 equals 2x minus 5. Okay? Okay, so G, what's been given? We were given the equation 3x minus 9 equals 2x minus 5. You, the unknown, if it says solve, Okay, that's the unknown, that's the verb, solve. So find x equals, okay, find out what the x is equal to. What number times 3 minus 9 would equal 2 times that same number minus 5? Okay, so E the equation. Still using guess, okay. To solve, use SAMDEB. And opposite operations. So if you know how to do this, you can go ahead like you did in class. Okay, Opposite operations plus is opposite subtract. Subtract is opposite addition. Multiplication is opposite division. And division is opposite multiplication. So G-U-E-S, solution. Now, I'm going to give myself a lot of extra room because I keep seeming to run out of space here. Okay, so we still take the equation and the unknown and the given and use it in our solution space. So we have to start with a given. 3x minus 9 equals 2x minus 5. Okay, we have to use the equation in order to solve for x. Okay, so we're going to use... SAMDEB, okay, and we say, alrighty, the X is on the left side. We are always going to put the X on the left side. So leave letter, letter X on left side, okay, over here to the right, no letter x on left, or right, this is the right side, right side, okay, that's always going to be our rule, the letter, whatever the letter is, is going to be on the left side of the equal sign, okay, so 3x has an x, so it can stay, but the minus 9 has no x, so we're going to move that, so the operation there is subtract, so next to s, we know that means subtract, the opposite of negative 9 is what we're going to do, we're going to add 9, okay? So I'm going to add 9 once to the left of the equal sign and once to the right. The 3x does not combine with the minus 9 plus 9 because it doesn't have an x there, okay? So 3x is getting rewritten. Minus 9 plus 9 is 0. If I don't know that, the 9 is a negative. The first sign that's there is the negative. I have to press the plus minus. Plus 9 is equal to 0. So I can put my pencil line through those to cross those out equals 2x. 2x does not combine with the negative 5 and the 9 because 2x has an x and these other numbers these other numbers don't. Okay, So all I can do is say what's negative 5 plus uh, 9. Okay, So 5 is the first sign there is negative. So negative 5 plus 9 equals. 
four, okay? So that answer, okay, is four. We understand it to be positive even though the sign's not there, okay? Alrighty, so again, leave letter X on left side. Again, if you can do this er, uh, faster than me, go ahead. On the right, no letter X on right side, okay? So leave letter X on the left side. To the left of the equals, there's that letter X. We can leave that. It follows the rule. To the right, no letter X on right side. Well, this has an X, okay? This does, so it has to go. Now, we understand this 2X to be positive, all right? So we're going to do it. We're going to put a positive 2X next to the A for add. So this is positive because it's adding, right? We're adding 2X. So adding 2X is the opposite of subtracting 2X. So that's what we're going to do. To subtract 2x once on the left side and once on the right side. So 3x rays take away 2x rays is 1x ray, but if I don't know that, I'm going to say 3 minus 2 is equal to 1, okay? 1x. So it's just 3 minus 2 and then you rewrite the x. Equals positive 2x, 2x rays take away 2x rays, okay? 2x rays take away 2x rays is equal to 0. So I can just cross those out there. Okay, all I have left now is the positive four. I don't need to write the positive four. I mean, if I want to, I can, okay? One X though is the same as X equals positive four or just four, that's my answer. So then my sentence, therefore X is equal to four. So your job is to write this question and the question on the first side of the page, and then also to get caught up on Wednesday's work if you haven't done so.